46 years of addiction. 46 years of addiction. Wow. How old are you now? I'm 51. 51. So you started real early. Yeah, five years old is when they started me. When they, so you can, well, let's, let's get into it. Um, okay. five, five years old, what's going on? Um, uh, stepdad and uh, aunt were molesting me and giving me dope to uh, keep me quiet. And I find out later after I got into recovery that my uh, my stepdad and them, they were also doing a satanic worship in the basement with me. After I got clean, I kind of started, you know, rolling back the reel and remembering crap. And uh, I remembered a room and stuff. And, and I talked to uh, my mom, and, not my mom, but my sister and them. And yeah, they were doing rituals. So, and that's where you're not, where are you at? You're in Chicago, Chicago. like you said. OK. And born and raised. Nah, yeah, this area. I lived down south for a long time. OK. Uh, yeah, Is, I that's where that was happening. Yeah, that was that's where that was happening. Was down south? No, that was happening. Uh, probably forty-five minutes from me. Oh shit. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, you never know where that's happening. That, that kind of stuff's happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right in our right in front Pretty of us intense. a lot of the time. Yeah, and it, and you said like you know you start remembering things when you get sober. It's true. Like you start going back through like the, playing the tape back. Yeah. And try to yeah. figure out, like, where did this really start? How did it, I lost control at some point, but where did it? And then you start going back. And did you have, was that like in therapy where you started realizing? No, I uh, I actually didn't go. I haven't gone through any therapy. Any tra- well, I went through treatment like five times, but not this time. <laughs> okay. And well, what happened was, is I started writing for a group on Facebook. And uh, I just, I was still using. I was definitely diehard deep in my active addiction and uh I just, one day I just said, fuck it. And I just started typing and I started sharing everything, you know, and it was for me, it wasn't for anybody else. I didn't do it for, uh, out of boys or sympathy. I just wanted to get it out and I did it. I thought it was going to be safe on Facebook, um, through that group. And so I did, and people just started responding. Well, things kind of started coming out. I didn't get clean till probably a month after I started writing and uh, people started responding and saying, Hey, you know, we, we get what you're saying. You're raw, you know? And so they started asking me for help. Well, it's kind of hypocritical to be using. And, you know, I knew, I knew all of the, the, the lingo. Yeah. Cause I, my stepdad was an addictions counselor and he, uh, not the same on the mom was married five times. Okay. Okay. But, I knew all the lingo so I could talk all the talk in the middle of my writing and I could BS anybody, you know? Um, but as a man and who I am, I couldn't, I couldn't sit there and yeah, keep doing it, you know? So I got yeah, you, yeah, that's good. Cause then you almost, it's almost like you got clean because you were realizing helping others was making you feel good, but it wasn't making you feel good to help others knowing that you weren't completely helping yourself first. Right. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's hypocritical, you know. That I hate, I hate a liar and I hate a hypocrite. So. Yeah, and if you're if you see yourself being one, then yeah, you know, best thing to do is change it up. Yeah. That's you know, I can commend you for that. So like, five years old, you're getting doped up. But when do you start like doing it yourself because you want it? Uh, probably about ten. Ten. Yeah. It, it was yeah. that readily available in the house or? Oh readily? yeah, well, my my parents, my mom and my stepdad at the time were swingers, okay. and there was dope parties i mean it was free. he was a biker and and uh i mean i remember um, I, i'd get up in the middle of the night i'd wake up in the middle of the night my mom would be in bed with multiple people and you know there was uh coke all over the pin, pinball machine and you know it was just nuts 